Hello class 5 students. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to start with the chapter 6 that is Constitution of India. And the main points are the Constitution and its need. Making of our Constitution. Principles of the state policy. So class let's start. Answer the following questions. First, when does your class start? Second, when do you get lunch break in school? Third, when does your school get off? Fourth, do you follow the rules of your school? Each student of a school has to follow some rules. In the same way, when we play a game like football, cricket or other, we have to follow the rules of the game. These rules help us to go in the right direction, save us from fighting each other and keep us safe. Now, Constitution. The constitution is the set of rules to govern the country and its people smoothly. Now, need for a constitution. India was under the British rule for more than 200 years. People of this country were not treated well by the Britishers. Many leaders of India fought for the independence of India. Our country got independence on 15 August 1947. The leaders of the freedom struggle wanted independent India to be a democratic country in which the responsibility of running the country passed on to the hands of the Indian people. It was their concern to provide every Indian a life of freedom with self-respect. So they wanted to make constitution of the country so that the government can function smoothly and every Indian has duties and responsibilities. The constitution of our country has set of rules, principles, rights and duties that are accepted by all the people living in this country. The government also has to run the country and make laws based on the rules given in the constitution. Now, making of our constitution. The leaders of the freedom struggle of India gathered on 9 December 1946 to make the constitution of our country. They formed the Constituent Assembly. After independence of our country, a new Constituent Assembly was formed. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was made the chairman of the Constitution Drafting Committee. Members of the Constituent Assembly gave their suggestions and ideas. These were included in the Constitution. The Constitution was adopted by 26 November 1949, but it came into effect on 26 January 1950. On this day, our country was declared a republic. So we celebrate the Republic Day on 26 January every year. Some important parts of the constitution are the preamble, the fundamental rights and duties and directive principles of state policy. Here you can see the picture of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and signing of the constitution. Now the preamble. The preamble is the introduction to our constitution. It states the main points or the ideas on which our constitution is made and on which our nation has to run. The preamble states India to be a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Sovereign, India is an independent nation and it can take all decisions freely. Socialist, all people in this country are equal. They have equal rights and opportunities to get job and earn their livelihood. Secular. All religions in India are treated equally. People are free to follow any religion or belief of their choice. Democratic. People of India can elect their own government. Fifth. Republic. India has its own constitution and the head of the state. Here you can see the picture of preamble of the constitution. Now, fundamental rights. The fundamental rights are the rights given to every citizen by the constitution. These are first, right to equality. All citizens irrespective of their religion, caste, sex, faith and race are equal before the law. All citizens have the equal opportunity to get employment. Second, Right to freedom. All citizens of our country have the right to freedom of speech and expression, travel and reside in the country and to choose any profession to earn a living. Third, right against exploitation. No citizen can be forced to work against his or her will. No person can be forced to work without pay. 
children under 14 years of age should not be employed. If anyone does not follow these rules, he or she will be punished by the court. Fourth, right to freedom of religion. All citizens are free to follow any religion or faith of their choice. All religions are equally treated. Fifth, right to culture and educational freedom. This right guarantee all citizens the right to maintain their own culture and language. This right provides minorities the freedom to set up and run educational institution of their choice to develop their culture. Six, constitutional remedies. This right allows every citizen to go to the court if any of his or her fundamental rights are denied to them by a person, office or the government. Now, fundamental duties. We have got some fundamental right through the constitution on our country. Our country also expects us to perform some duties towards it as given here. We should abide by the constitution. We should respect the national flag, national anthem, national song and national symbols. We should value and, and preserve the rich heritage of our mixed culture. We should establish brotherhood among all citizens and live unitedly. We should take care of public property. We should protect and improve the natural environment of the country and we should have compassion for living creature. All children should be sent to school to get education. Now, Directive Principles of State Policy The Directive Principles of State Policy contains some guidelines for all states which should be kept in mind when making laws for the people of the state. These guidelines are listed keeping in mind the welfare of the people of state. Some of these are as following. All the citizens, men and women have equal right to work and make a living. Both men and women should be given equal pay for equal work. All the people should be provided basic facilities like food, shelter and medical care. Health and living conditions of the people should be improved. Interest of the people belonging to the scheduled caste, the scheduled tribes and other backward caste should be protected. Every child under 14 years of age should get compulsory education. Poor people should not be exploited by the rich. All citizens should promote peace and security. Citizens should be provided free legal help to all citizens for securing justice. All citizens should protect and improve the environment, forest and wildlife of the country. As the constitution of our country has been made keeping in mind the general welfare of the people of this country, we should respect and follow our constitution. Valued fact. Our constitution makes way for brotherhood among all citizens of the country. Awesome fact, our country has the written constitution. Many countries do not have written constitution. Now, let's learn new words. Constitution, book of rules to govern the country and its people. Fundamental rights, rights given to every citizen of the country by our constitution. Fundamental duties. Duties mentioned in the constitution which the country expects from every citizen. Now kids, let's remember, the constitution is the set of rules to govern the country and its people smoothly. Our constitution came into effect on 26 January 1950. So 26 January is celebrated as the Republic Day in our country every year. The constitution of India gives every citizen of this country some fundamental rights. The constitution also mentions some fundamental duties which the country expects every citizen to do. The constitution mentions the directive principles of the state policy which each state should keep in mind when making law for the welfare of the people. I hope you all like this session. Now we will meet in the next class. Till then, bye bye.